Our story begins with the death of a good man leaving behind his two sons with great wealth. May there be no sorrows anymore. Inshallah. Kardush, your father used to give me a monthly stipend because I could not work. May God have mercy on him, but he never told me this. Wait, uncle. We don't want to help the good deed that our father started. How much did you give him? I don't know. I didn't count the dirhams. You are squandering our inheritance. I don't like the way you spend the money. Don't forget that we are partners. I gave to him from my own money. What own money? It is our common heritage. Listen to Tamlika. It is the time for us to distribute the inheritance. Now? Yes, now. Are you waiting for someone? Okay, as you wish, brother. Our father left us 6,000 dirhams. We will divide it equally for each of us. Welcome, Mr. Kartush. I heard you have brought the land next to mine. That's right, Mr. Akak. I have come to meet my good neighbor. Please accept this humble gift. What a wonderful golden pot. It's so expensive. <laughs> its value increases if your hands touch it. Hmm, I like your talk, but I feel suspicious. Do not blame me. There is no one who offers this precious gift without wanting something in return. I need your satisfaction, Mr. Akak. And what comes after my satisfaction? I want to marry your beloved daughter. But you are married, as I have heard. There is nothing to prevent me from marrying twice. My daughter's dowry is a thousand dirhams. I will pay it today if you accept. You made a good decision buying these sheep, oh Tamlikha. I paid thousand dirhams for them. Well done. It will benefit us a lot. We will sell milk every day and feed our daughter Sabiha. And tomorrow the sheep will breed and increase in number and also... We won't wait until tomorrow. We will sacrifice it all today. Why? Have you forgotten the dozens of hungry people around us? How can we hold money and leave the poor starving? What if we slaughter a quarter of the herd for the poor or half of it and shepherd the other half for our own profit? God has blessed us with abundant money and I find it better to spend this money for God's player. I appreciate your passion for charity, but spare ten sheep for us. Don't forget we have a daughter. I will leave her one God which is enough. Come on, Rosa. The poor can't stand the hunger. Congratulations, brother, on this marriage. What is this? Are you kidding me? Why are you saying that, dear brother? How do you wear these old, worn clothes in front of my in-laws? This is the best one I have. It is our father's gown. Don't you remember? And you come to me riding a tempted donkey? Don't you have a horse-drawn carriage? Kartush, won't you introduce your friend? Ah, uh, he is an old friend of mine. Why did you spend all dirhams on clothes? Did your brother's words bother you? It is not for us. Take this, aunt. How many members are there in your family? Fourteen. Take, O Sabiha. Take this for your aunt. Thank you, my dear son. You are welcome, dear aunt. Hmm, now I understand. How good you are, Tamlikha. Praise to God, you didn't disagree with me this time. I disagree with you for the sake of your property. If money can buy the afterlife, then it is foolish to buy the world with it. <laughs> Hold yourself, Alia. My wife, I know how much you love your gone father. But what is in your hands? This is God's decision. You're not dead. I do not believe in your God. So do not say anything. To me, that will make me angry. Listen, Kartush. If you want to nurture my land and reap it bounties, you must believe in my God. This? You make fun of him? No, never, never, never. It looks cute to me. It is not enough to find him cute. You must respect him. 
Of course, I will respect him for your sake. Also kneel in front of him. This is my only condition. And I kneel in front of him. I think we now agree. Tamlikha, I can't find your money. Where is the remaining dirhams of your father's inheritance? Don't be afraid. It has become double. How? Did you start a new business? Yes. I enter into a business with God with that money. I free ten men and women who were slaves to non-Muslims. Yes, but how we will live now? As we were living before, Rosa. I do not understand you, O Tamlikha. I know how much you love charity and giving away, but how can you spend all your money and spare nothing of it? Rather, I saved it all with God and rid myself of the burden of that trust. Excuse me, O oh poor peasant. Wait a little, O oh man. It's the way to my palace. Go away. Do you want me to fall into the water? Who? Tamlika? Kartush, brother, how are you? As you see. And you? Hmm. What happened to you? I am fine, alhamdulillah. Do you call this fine? Did you waste your all money on women or gambling? If you are asking to be reassured about my condition, know that by the grace of God, I do not dare approach the forbidden. Is it permissible to be so poor? What poverty? I am not complaining about anything. Look at the conditions of your face and your torn clothes. Come by in my palace. I will feed you and give you new clothes. And bring your family with you as well. How many children do you have? Just Sabiha. Just one. I have seven males and I want to give birth to more like them so that the land does not become barren after me. May God bless your children and your land. The land cannot be destroyed. Nothing can happen to me. The important thing is to have many children to be able to farm. Do not forget to visit me. But do not tell the servants that you are my brother. You know my position as a chief of merchants and farmers. The owner of the two gardens believed that he was rich due to his money and his garden, while the poor person believed that he was rich due to his faith and his trust in his creator. What happened to you, Rosa? <laughs> the lonely sheep has fallen ill. What will we do now? We will try to treat it as much as we can. We can no longer milk her or make use of her for something. The best thing is to hasten to slaughter her. Fear God, how can I slaughter a sick sheep and harm people with its meat? Shall we feed and water in its vein? From when we came to this life, God feed us, waters us, and provide for us free of charge. He is rich from our worship of Him. I meant... How are we going to provide sustenance to our little girl? Don't worry about which is not our work. God will bless us. Ah, oh, we lost the only sheep, Tamlikha. The kingdom is for God, before and after. And I will take that poor sheep and bury her. Tamlikha, this is our wedding ring. Sell it and buy what we need. Rather, keep it, Rosa. I am working hard to look for work, and I feel the end of this crisis is near. When the crisis ends, you may buy me another one. May God protect you, my lovely husband. I will go to my brother Kartush. He has two big heavens, and he will definitely appreciate my sincerity and my honesty. You know that grapes rot if they are not eaten in time. I know. What does that have to do with taking my gold, selling it? I need a lot of money to implement my idea. And what is your idea? We squeeze the grapes, fill them in glass bottles, and leave them until they become a fine wine. But the peasant around us are poor and cannot find food. So who will buy wine? What a simple person you are. I will sell it in all parts of the world to the rich and notable person, so that we do not lose a single grape or double our wealth. 
That sounds amazing. I have studied from all aspects. Believe me, we will gain a lot from it. Sir, a man who says he is your brother, Tamlika, waiting for you outside. Ah, uh, I completely forgot about him. Why did he come? Leave him in the gardens and I will go to him. Glory be to the Creator. May God bless my brother. Dear brother, what brought you here? I miss you. In fact, there is another reason I am ashamed to mention. Let's talk as we walk. I must watch farmer gather the fruit or we will all be lazy. I laid off the foreman a few days ago. Perhaps, but he was not honest. Yes, he was not. Glory be to the one who manages our livelihood. I have accepted. What did you accept? To work in your garden as a foreman. <laughs> Tell me, your Tamlika, what is your experience in garden management? I can learn. Wait, you foolish girl. We will continue our conversation later. Come on. واضرب لهم مثلا الرجلين جعلنا لأحدهما جنتين من أعناب وحففناهما بنخل وجعلنا بينهما زرعا كلتا الجنتين آتت أكلها ولم تظلم منه شيئا وفجرنا خلالهما نهارا وكان له ثمر فقال لصاحبه وهو يحاوره أنا أكثر منك مالا وأعز نفرا ودخل جنته وهو ظالم لنفسه قال ما أظن أن تبيد هذه أبدا وما أظن الساعة قائمة ولئن رددت إلى ربي لأجدن خيرا منها منقلبا What is all this food? Where did you get it from? Food came to us from God. Rosa, where is your golden ring? Eat, eat well and heal. What a good luck to see you twice a week. That's amazing. Thank you, brother. But I am really worried about you. You are worried about me? Why? I am afraid you won't be okay. And you will help me? Of course. I advise you to look at me and yourself well. I am higher than you in terms of money and dearest in people. Pride is for God alone. Am I not richer than you? Yes, but... Do not look at me, but look at the vast heaven in front of you. Contemplate the trees. The river, the fruit, and the vegetables. Do you ever imagine that these two heavens will be lost? Everything that a person owns is owned by God, and it is in God's hand. وكان له ثمر فقال لصاحبه وهو يحاوره أنا أكثر منك مالا وأعز نفرا. ودخل جنته وهو ظالم لنفسه قال ما أظن أن تبيد هذه أبدا Ah, this is only talk without evidence. Come, accompany me on a journey to another garden. Come on, look in any direction you like. To my this heaven or that heaven. I advise you, my brother, not to be deceived by fleeting bliss. How will this land be destroyed? All what is in front of you will slip away on the day of judgment from your hand and you will return to God poor. <laughs> on judgment day, my dear, I regret to inform you that there is no judgment day. This is not a joke. I am not joking. I believe in what I see and touch with my hands. You are talking about a paradise that believers in God will enter. And I quit that paradise in favor of this paradise. Do not disbelieve, O Kartush. If there is a day of judgment as you think, I will be treated with respect, befitting my wealth. And I will find better than those two heavens in the hereafter. I am sorry for you, poor man. You feel sorry for me? 
Why? God has blessed you and tested you with wealth and you should have thanked God for his blessing. If you had said while entering your house or your heaven, praise for God, he would protect your wealth. وَمَا أَظُنُّ السَّاعَةَ قَائِمَةً وَلَئِ الرُّدِدْتُ إِلَى رَبِّي لَأَجِدَنَّ خَيْرًا مِنْهَا مُنْقَلَبًا قال له صاحبه وهو يحاوره أكفرت بالذي خلقك من تراب ثم من نطفة ثم سواك رجلا لكن هو الله ربي ولا أشرك بربي أحدا ولولا إذ دخلت جنتك قلت ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله إن ترني أنا أقل منك مالا وولدا You talk as if the garden will disappear from the face of the earth. Who knows? God may send a storm from the sky on it and it will become ruins. <laughs> Why are you making me laugh? A storm from the sky? And will the storm drink the water of the river too? The river may also dry up, so you will not find water for planting. You resort to God because you are poor. If you were rich like me, you would not need to resort to Him. And you think like non-Muslims? Oh, Kartush, but I am afraid to say that you might have become one of them. What did your brother say to you that hurt your feelings to this extent? I don't cry due to him, but I do cry over him. He's blinded by the love of the world and deceived by it until he forgot the grace of God. I do not know what to say to you. What you are saying is not new to me. You are wronged by your brother. When the sun rose on the palace, it looked at the scene that had nothing to do with what had existed until the last night. The two gardens disappeared as if they were a drawing that the maker erased after he painted it. Why do you look so nervous, Kartush? Shall I prepare you a cup of warm milk? Just a glass of wine and I will take a walk to my gardens. No? Yes, I want to fill my chest with the air of the heavens and check my wealth and property that a fool thinks it might be lost. Thick clouds swarmed in the sky, gathering and approaching like a mysterious army, gathering for a faithful order. Mm, it's getting so cold! Why did all these clouds come from? Come on! Come on you lazy horses, not so fast! Stop running like that! Ah, uh, what is this? What winds blow in this season of the year? The winds emerged as if the demon of hell was chasing it. And the storm started to get more violent. And then the storm fell on the garden. I can't believe my trees are flying like withered leaves. Where are my strong young children? Where are my wives and my family? Where are the servants and the guards? When the sun rose on the palace, it looked at the scene that had nothing to do with what had existed until the last night. The two gardens disappeared as if they were a drawing that the maker erased after he painted it. Uh, uh, where did the river go, O Alia? As if it were a gulp of water that the earth drank after being thirsty for thousands of years. I will go to my uncle's house to find water and foods. 
I spent all my money and all my life caring for this land. Don't just sit around and do nothing. You are the reason for what happened to me. You made me disbelieve in God and associate with him an idol that neither harm nor benefits. No one is forcing you to do this. There is no point in talking to you. There is no one to support me or stand with me in this world. You can help yourself, my brother. How? Tell me, how? Repent, return to God and save yourself now. You still have the opportunity in front of you. Don't you see ruin around me? Which opportunity? The chance is that you are alive and not yet dead. Find yourself. Revive yourself with repentance. Go back to God. If you want deliverance and strength, there is no power except the God. No victory except from God. And no hope except in God. فعسى ربي أن يؤتيني خيرا من جنتك ويرسل عليها حسبانا من السماء فتصبح صعيدا زلقا أو يصبح ماؤها غورا فلن تستطيع له طلبا وأحيط بثمره فأصبح يقلب كفيه على ما أنفق فيها وهي خاوية على عروشها وهي خاوية على عروشها ويقول يا ليتني لم أشرك بربي أحدا ولم تكن له فئة ينصرونه من دون الله وما كان منتصرا